You're listening to a podcast from Woodend Barn in Bankery. My name is Sam Tom, and my guest today is actor, author, and prize-winning poet, all rolled into one, Katrina Lexi Campbell. Katrina, hello. Hello there. Good afternoon. Thanks for joining us. You're coming to the barn on Sunday the 15th of May, and that's part of the 2011 Word Festival. What's the format of your event? Is it question and answer? Is it reading? What's going to happen? Well, I'm actually doing uh, two events. The first is between 12 and 1, and that's a children's event where I'm going to be reading from my book, Skialoch and Akaloch Fjakaloch, which is a collection of scary short stories, mm-hmm. and um, working with the kids, doing a little bit of movement, and then helping them to kind of come up with their own characters mm-hmm. um, to begin thinking about their own stories. Um, so just trying to encourage a bit of creativity in the class, and it should be really fun. It's, yeah. uh, it's, it should be entertaining and fun for parents and for kids. And is, um, that, is, sorry, is that for English speakers as well, or is that is that part Gaelic, part English? How does that work? Um, as I write mainly in Gaelic, mm-hmm. all the readings will be in Gaelic. Right. Um, however, I will be offering translation. I will you know, give a translation of what I've been doing. I'll make it as bilingual as possible to allow as many people as possible to come and enjoy it. Okay. And for people to experience listening to Gaelic as well, I think, you know, even if you don't speak it, it's nice to come along and hear some of the language and, yes. you know, uh, get involved in some of the storytelling. Yes. And then the second part? Yes, so well, the second part is between um, half past two and twenty past three, and that's a reading for adults. Um, that will be in Gaelic. I'm reading from my... Um, my last novel, which was published, called Crescent of Alla Vaud, which is a novel that's kind of designed for native speakers, but also for learners. Um, so I would be encouraging people with a level of fluency to be coming along, people who are learning, um, because this book's really kind of aimed at them as well. And also, um, yeah, I'm going to be reading a little bit from my new book, which uh, is... Yes, that's a sneak preview, isn't it? Yeah, it's a bit of a sneak preview. This is yet to be published. Um, it's in the last sort of stages of drafting, and um, it's going to be a bit of a bit of a surprise. So, um, hoping people might be interested in coming to hear a little bit from that book as well. It's called Kuhidaram, and I'm hoping it'll be out later this year. Give us a, a clue, because I know that uh, your last novel, which is the one you're going to be reading from, that was kind of a, a love story. Is it a similar theme, or what have you got? I think this book is like it's, it's darker. Certainly, mm-hmm. it's um, probably darker subject matter. It's called Kuhitaran because it's partly about it's about a father and son. The son is a very talented football player, Kuhitaran meaning player, yeah. and the father is also a bit of a player himself. So um, it's it's about a family that's not quite all it seems from the outside. Yeah. It's uh, very very different when you start to sort of scratch the surface. Yeah. Um, so it, I, I kind of try to maintain a nice light tone and you know keep it keep it funny, yeah. but it's certainly a darker subject matter, I think. Yeah, and of course you're from Lewis. Do you feel the weight of those writers like Ian Crichton Smith and Sonny McLean? Do you, do you feel them breathing down your neck? Um, no, no. I, I think I think no more than any writer feels that burden of 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 you know great creative people mm-hmm. behind them. You know you. You, I try to see those people more as an inspiration yeah. rather than, than a benchmark for myself because I've, I'm, I'm no Sorley McLean, you know? <laughs> but, uh, but, but, you know, it's, it's, I, think, I think I try to take inspiration from those people rather than feel intimidated by them and to remind myself that what I do is very different. It's, yeah. it's contemporary, it's, it's modern, and it's, it's trying to fill that niche for, you know, easy-to-read books yeah. that are a good story, but essentially, they, you know, you can get through them. <laughs> Yes. And, you know, that's something I was going to ask you. Because you come from Lewis, what is it that you bring that perhaps, you know, English writers don't bring? I think, I think obviously, being from an island, you're already aware of that kind of community. Also, right. I've lived in Edinburgh, I've lived in cities. So I think I've possibly got, you know, a broad base of knowledge of yeah. <clears throat> different kinds of people. Mm-hmm. So, uh, yeah, being from that, I think the island certainly gives me that, you know, a bit of a breadth of perspective. Yeah. But I don't sort of let it inform my work too much. Katrina, listen, you've got a good way of explaining things, and I think that people will very much enjoy listening to what you've got to say. So, I'll just remind people, it's Sunday, 15th of May. For adults, it starts at 2.30, but there's an event for children starting at between 12 and 1. So, Katrina Lexi Campbell, thanks very much for joining. Thank you.